Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Paul McFall and today I would like to welcome you back to yet another Final Cut Pro tutorial. So today we're here to talk about the before and after edit effect that a lot of filmmakers like to use in order to show off their color correction and grading skills. First time I saw this effect, all I could think was, how the f*** are they doing that? But you know, after a little bit of research, I figured out not only one, but two ways to do this effect. So if that's cool with you, let's do it. All right guys, so before we get started, I am editing on Final Cut Pro X on the MacBook Pro 2016. And of course, the first thing we always do is select our clips. And today I'll actually be using a shot of this ballroom that I was able to film during one of my weddings. So if you wanna check those out, feel free to click the link below or in the corner here, and that'll take you over to my Capital Films page. But anyway, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this effect today. And the first is actually pretty easy. So on the left side, I have my fully edited clip, as you can see. And on the right side, I have the same clip. However, it has no edits done to it. So basically no color correction and no grade. So the next thing we wanna do here is take our unedited clip and drop it on top of our finished clip and go ahead and delete that white space. All right, step three, let's go ahead and drop these into a compound clip. So go ahead and select all, right click, new compound clip. Let's just call it, Reveal. All right, go ahead and right click our compound clip and click open clip. All right, so pretty much right back where we started. Only difference is we're just editing inside of what will appear to be just one clip on our main project screen, which will enable us if we want in the end to drop a transition in front. And it's so much more difficult to do that when you have two clips sitting on top of each other. So. Let's dive right back in. So the next thing we want to do is move to the beginning of our timeline here, right? Go ahead and select our unedited clip and then find the crop section on the right-hand side. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to find the right crop, go ahead and add a keyframe, and then we're going to move from the beginning of the timeline to about where we want our crop to finish off which is about there. All right, so all you have to do is go back to the crop section, find right, and move that indicator to the point that our entire unedited clip just crops off to the left, just leaving our fully edited clip beneath. Now all you have to do is let it process. Once it's finished, let's just move back to the beginning of our timeline here and go ahead and play it. As you can see, we have the reveal effect and it looks pretty good. The next way is pretty easy as well. It's the way that I actually use to do the clips in the beginning of the tutorial. So now we simply just have our unedited clip sitting on top of our edited clip again with no effects. So the next thing we want to do is go back over to the right and search for mask, draw mask, and go ahead and drag and drop that onto our unedited clip. Once the computer is done processing, go ahead up to the top where you can actually change the aspect ratio of our viewing screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and select 25%, right? It's gonna make it much smaller here. And now if you notice, we have our draw mask selected on the right and we have what seems to look like a little pin tool, right? So we're actually gonna use this pin to create a draw mask, and we're going to use that draw mask to reveal our edited clip. So go ahead and create a control point. You just click anywhere, it doesn't really matter. And beneath that, go ahead and hold shift and create another point. Now holding shift actually creates a straight line, and that's pretty important for what we want to do. So let's go ahead and create two more control points. Let go of shift this time and select our original point just to kind of end it off. And now you can already see that part of our edited clip is revealed. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and drag this line all the way to the right. All right, so now we just fully covered up our edited clip and kind of put things back to the way they were before we did anything at all. So the next thing we want to do is down in our project timeline, move back to the beginning, all right? Go back up to our draw mask and create a keyframe. All right, so now this is gonna be pretty simple. Just move once again in our timeline to the location of your clip that you want your edited clip to be fully revealed. So I'm just gonna put it here and 
grab the line between our first two control points and pull that all the way to the left. All right, just go ahead and let that process and now we can play it. As you can see, we have the full reveal effect and it looks pretty good. So just one more quick thing to show you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset our keyframe here. All right, I'm gonna change this back to 25%. So earlier, I don't know if you remember, but I actually did something a little bit extra to the effect where I caused our reveal to come back, you know, a little bit of ways and then it jumped up again and then it disappeared and revealed our entire edited clip. So just to show you guys how to do that, it's actually pretty simple. First thing you wanna do is once again, pull that line back to the front of our clip, go ahead and move back to the beginning of our timeline, set another keyframe. And once again, we're gonna to move to the location in our clip where we don't want our edited clip to be fully revealed, just partially. So I'm thinking right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull our draw mask, uh, just part of the ways back towards the end. And then I'm gonna move forward just a little bit on our timeline. I'm going to move our draw mask back up again. And then I'm just gonna move up a little bit more in our timeline where I want the effect to complete. And now I'm just gonna move it once again, completely to the left. All right, so let's go ahead and let that process. All right, so let's move back to the beginning of our timeline, fit our viewing screen back to normal again, and just play the clip. And as you can see, we've recreated the same exact effect. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the reveal effect. So. I hope you really enjoyed watching. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I've got more coming out soon. So I hope you guys stick around, but till next time guys, peace. When I woke up this morning in the haters world,